The Waves public blockchain has a native token called Waves. The demand for the native Waves token is ensured by its utility within the platform. All blockchain transactions have fees in Waves. This means that in order to use the platform, users must pay for it. But fortunately, Waves fees are very small and it makes the platform suitable for everyone. For example, a transfer transaction has a fee equal to approximately 0.5 United States cents for any amount of transferred assets. Pretty cheap, right? But these fees change in dollars, of course, because of Waves price fluctuations. Just like everything in the economy, crypto assets have a price determined by the equilibrium between demand and supply. Higher demand, higher asset price. So if you want to make a transaction, you have to pay a fee. But how can you get Waves tokens to pay fees? To purchase or sell a crypto asset, people can use gateways or exchanges. Well, all national or traditional assets are called fiat. To purchase a crypto asset for fiat or sell assets for fiat, you should use fiat to crypto gateways or exchanges. With Waves, you are able to use many gateways with different national fiat currencies. Dollars or any other support in fiat or digital currency like Bitcoin are sent to a user's personal account on the gateway via standard transfer and after the deposit, the user receives Waves-based tokens like WBTC issued on the Waves blockchain. Every single gateway token is baked one-to-one -one with the real external coins. More details about gateways can be found in Waves documentation. You can find the link in the description below. You can use Waves tokens or gateway tokens to trade on Waves DAX. Waves decentralized exchange supports many crypto assets. There are more than 31,000 available pairs right now. So you can trade with crypto or fiat assets on exchanges using different trading strategies by simply placing buy or sell orders. It is also possible to get Waves tokens not only on exchanges, but by mining blocks. The Waves blockchain uses a least proof of stake consensus. The probability of becoming a block validator is proportional to the total amount of tokens attract from leasers. And with each validated block, the miner receives a reward generated from the transaction fees and mining rewards. Let's talk a bit more about mining rewards. The mining reward is a blockchain feature in which miners receive a fixed fee in Waves, in Waves tokens, for each generated block. Waves monetary policy is community driven, meaning that Waves nodes are able to change the rewards distributed with every generated block. Every 100,000 blocks or approximately every 70 days, a new vote for a change to the current reward size begins among miners. To summarize, I'd like to draw your attention to the importance of the native Waves token for platform functionality. First of all, it makes any DDoS attacks expensive because you have to spend time or money buying Waves to do transactions. So you cannot simply DDoS, you have to pay for it. It also encourages network nodes and block producers to maintain the network. They will get a reward with every single block they create. And it also incentivizes platform contributors to improve infrastructure. So in this lesson, we learned about Waves token utility, fees, gateways, exchanges, and monetary policy. We are now done with the main part of the first module. We have talked about many concepts and dived deeper into a couple of technical topics too, but this course is practical. And in the next video, we will start doing our final project from the requirements. See you in the next lesson.